Sometimes a small form factor PC build can't be finalized the way you envision it because of a few millimeters of clearance. Well, Silverstone might help here since they have released the Vida Slim series of AIOs that have a narrower radiator and slim profile fans to match. We are talking about a 22mm thick radiator, where most are around 27, and 16mm thick fans compared to 25mm for a regular 120. Despite the slim overall profile, you still get ARGB for both the CPU block and the fans. The Vida Slim series can be had in a 120mm or 240 variant, and the MSRP is 130 bucks for the 240 variant, which is quite steep considering the overall AIO market, and this is the same sample we have today. We have the classic Silverstone livery and packaging with everything you need to know about the AIO, highlighting of course the slim nature of it. Regarding accessories, you are covered for most scenarios, including the fact that if your motherboard doesn't have a 5V ARGB port available. The Vida Slim 240mm AIO supports all of the modern Intel and AMD sockets, including the LGA1700 and AM5. The bundled 120mm fans are 16mm thick and feature full RGB lighting. All of the mounting corners have anti-vibration pads pre-installed. With the help of the 9 blades, the fans are rated up to 1800 RPM, push roughly 67 CFM of airflow, with a static pressure of around 2.6 mm water current, while not going over 34 decibels of noise output. A cool feature of Silverstone's latest cooling products is the fact that you can daisy chain the fan's RGB capability. The aluminium radiator measures 275 by 120 by 22 mm, which means adding the 16 mm thick slim fan, the total thickness of the assembly will be at just 38 mm, versus 52 mm on a regular AIO. Then the rubber tubes are fully sleeved and measure 400 mm long. Regarding the fin's density, the radiator features an 18 FPI count with 12 channels for the liquid to flow. As you can see on the right side, the pump is integrated into the radiator. There are subtle cutouts on each side of the radiator to have the pump's power plug be routed properly out of the way. Speaking of, it takes power via a 3-pin plug and the 3-phase 6-pole pump motor is rated up to 4200 RPM. On the other end of the tubes we have the low-profile CPU block which also features ARGB and can be further daisy-chained to the fan's cable. A cool feature is the rotating cover which lets you have the Silverstone logo always orientated properly regardless of the block's mounting angle. The contact copper plate is a perfect square at 55 by 55 mm and doesn't have a mirror polish with very fine grooves from the machining process still visible. A nice touch comes from the sponge-like material that prevents any dust from entering around the CPU cap. Installation is very simple since on the AM4 socket you can reuse the stock motherboard backplate. Then attach the custom standoffs that have integrated spacers. Slide in the AMD side bracket which can only be inserted from one direction. Apply the thermal paste and then bolt down the CPU block in an X pattern with the spring bolts. Regarding socket area clearance, everything is perfect, even the tubes exit in the radiator have a few millimeters to breathe, with this case modulars AIO top tray. Wire management just requires a firm cable tie and everything is easy to connect together, and the radiator cutout for the pump's plug comes in handy at the right moment. The main problem though comes from the stock installation screws for the fans. Due to its slim nature, it's understandable that Silverstone made sure that the top of the bolts will not protrude above the fans frame footprint. But the downside is, they have no extra room to accommodate a tray case installation like my testing case, since in a normal enclosure you attach the radiator to the case, not use the fan bolts. Alas, I use zip ties for a temporary quick fix, not the prettiest, but it did the trick so I can complete testing the AIO. The RGB is fully compatible with all of the lighting software of all of the main motherboard vendors, in my case Asus Aura, or as they call it now since it's integrated in the Asus Armory Crate bundle, and as you can see it makes quite an eye candy show. I will test it against a regular sized AIO 240mm and go from there with my Ryzen 5 CPU in 3 key scenarios. Considering its slim nature, the Vida 240 did pretty good even in the OC scenario. R23 proves to be almost as demanding as ADA64, so the delta increase in temperature is higher by just 1 or 2 degrees, while the OC scenario interesting was a bit cooler. Assassin's Creed Valhalla isn't as stressful on the CPU as a torture test, but a great indicator of real-life usage.
regarding noise output, as somewhat expected, above 80% RPM, the slim fans start to get really audible, so make sure to keep them below this threshold if you plan to have a silent build. Also here is a noise sample that covers both the pump and the fans. What we have here is a calculated compromise for better fitment over a standard 240mm AIO. Luckily Silverstone did manage to keep the balance in order and the Vida Slim still performs as you'd expect from a 240mm AIO. I mean it did manage to keep under control my CPU in an overclock scenario. I would say that is plenty of proof despite at the higher noise from the fans. The overall build quality is excellent, with a heads up regarding the included screws will not be long enough to clear a modular case tray installation, as we saw with my Fantex Evolve Shift XT. Nice visual points go to the RGB implementation in both the slim fans and the low profile CPU block, and the rotating top cap for OCD purposes. Really it depends how you look at it, because the thinner radiator and the extremely quiet integrated pump alone this should warrant enough to get it despite its price tag and then upgrade to any fans that you like if you want even more performance around the available space. Stay tuned since I have more AIO tests on the way and also have a look at this video where I test the famous Noctua fans on a regular radiator.